the 15th of July 2024 and it's an absolutely beautiful evening here at Fofford in Dundalk in County Louth. We're out on the Cooley Peninsula a bit and we're on high ground. Now I, in my vi videos on the wedding in Italy in uh, Porto St. George, showed the Adriatic, o the Adriatic Ocean and how beautiful it was. But there's no doubt the scene here is beautiful. Uh, this is the scene from the top of the hill of Fofford and you can see this panoramic view and it is it, it is absolutely beautiful with the with the Cooley mountains in the background and then good quality land in between and all these quiet homes there not much going on in that way now if we turn around here we're looking eastward but over here now I have a cameraman Right. We move over to here, we're looking east. I'm looking over now, largely to Carrick across that way, and we can see the Crown Plaza Hotel down there. But uh, very interestingly, you can see the Dundalk Bay, and the Irish Sea is out there. And that's Dundalk Bay. So Dublin will be down here, Belfast will be up here, and the map points to Bel to the north being there, and then my country is over here to the west to the northwest. Lovely feel of barley coming into ripeness here and the birds in it. A lovely feel of corn over there, uh, maize corn and a mix of that type of land. Now we're high up so this is the hill of Fohard and the significance of this according to the map and the legend here is that St. Bridget was born here. Okay, St. Bridget, the Irish abbess, is that what you call her? Was born here. So what it says on the map here is, with a clear view of the steep jagged slopes of the north and the flat plains to the south, the hill of Fohard provided an ideal location for a strategic base for an ancient routeway. Edward Bruce, the last High King of Ireland, is believed to be buried here. It is said that on the hill, the mythical hero Cú Cullen slew 14 men who tried to ambush him. So uh, clearly we can see here the various uh, locations, uh, the the Feed Mountain, the Black Mountain Sleeve Du, Carnamada, the Carnamada Mountain, the Mountain of the Dog, Sleeve Foya, Sleeve Sleeve the Block, and a few other places. But this is generally looking uh, north east, like we'd be kind of looking towards the Isle of Man on the Cooley Peninsula. But this view here is really, really lovely on a day like this. So we'll pause the camera now and we'll go and uh, a plaque to Robert Edward Bruce, who was Robert Bruce's uh, brother. And it says that in October 1318, a small force headed by Edward Bruce advanced on Dundalk from uh, Carrick Fergus, from Scotland. And it also... The history says that the O'Neills of Ulster were connected with the Scottish as well. And when I got my DNA checked, I'm 5% Scottish. And I know that a small part of my ancestry comes from the O'Neills in Ulster. We were loyal to the O'Neills, to the Earls. And so this would match up. There was interbreeding between the Scottish and the Irish. And that 5% is quite normal. But it says the Bruce campaign in Ireland... Uh, Edward Bruce was killed here along with many of his Scottish generals and Irish allies. The Bruce campaign was over. So he met a British Norman army and they had plenty of people. They were, they were better at breeding than the Irish. But this is the, this is the, the grave of uh, the Bruce. It says here Edward the Bruce, King of Ireland, killed in battle at Fohard on the 14th of October 1388. And then it gives it in Gaelic too, uh, same thing in the Irish language. So that's nice. So you have several gravestones around here. The one next door to it uh, has the name of James P. Lennon. And there's McArdle and there's Kelly. And these are names to this day. So it's a high ground. It's about, I'd say the whole thing would be in a statute acre. And there's a church. Now here's an important point. This is the original church. And uh, it says here, on the 8th of the lunar month was Bridget born in Fohard. Still, to the southeast of the church is a flagstone where Bridget was born. 
So the southeast would be down there, the Sailors of Flagstone, where St. Bridget was born. And uh, this St. Bridget's Ireland's most famous abbess is said to have been born here. Tradition says that she lived here for some time before going to Kildare. A fragmented cross across of a base is one of the few remains of the early Christian monastery on this site. So the church was done up, but the church remains are here well worth a visit. What I get the sense of here is the height above, high up, and secondly, the dryness. Just asking my cameraman to turn a horn again. This is the view of the mountain looking northeast to the northern part of this Cooley mountain. And this can be seen from my farm. Uh, funny enough, from some of my land, I can see this. So as you see, it's about an acre or thereabouts of a very old and some not so old uh, graveyard. Uh, very high ground, I can see well why it was picked. The dryness of it is, 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 is very noticeable and the beauty of it is very noticeable. Now the next thing we need to do is look at the flagstone and try and find it where St. Bridget was. So find the flagstone have not been successful but one of the things that's important to know is this is the original church. You can see the difference in the type of stone about here. Those big stones are the original and then you can see where it was rebuilt again and how they just built it up here. Not a big church. The whole, the whole church here wouldn't be, uh, I'd say, about four, 15 meters that way and about 22 uh, this way. And this is the whole size of it here. It's, it's a small building. It's from here where I'm standing to the camera and then about half as much again. I mean, I'll walk across it here. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's eight yards roughly. Eight yards or about that meters. The next thing we want to look at now is St. Bridget's Well. Right. The funny name, the Hip McCrink. There's no, uh, there's no on their souls, uh, sweet Jesus have mercy. McCrink, Carrick Broad, known as the Hip. No name for him. That's quite common, but it's a very strange name, McCrink. Anyone with that name, please comment. You can see the Rice family over there. Now the perimeter uh, ditch is here. It's a stone ditch. Probably original. This is marks the edge of the monastery and on the graveyard and the church and the land drops down It's very elevated very very high and uh, so here on the site is a well now the well uh, Has a step down and clearly it was made just for taking out holy holy water now It's not holy water such but it, it's a holy, holy well now you see all these little garments tied to the well You'll get this over at four in County Westmeath where there was a monastery. But another place I saw this was at Wounded Knee in South Dakota in 1999 at the, at the, at the site of the battle where all the Native American Lakota Indians were slaughtered uh, in, on the 29th of December uh, uh, in, the, in, in the winter is this little idea of tying little trinkets, little flowers little things like that and little candles. Now the well itself is just this, it's just a small little step down and I'm after dipping it and it's about between one foot and about five inches deep. Now clearly stones and things have been thrown in and by right it want to be cleaned out and all that. But it is a well, it's wet, the area around it's wet. There's a little, a little scoop here for uh, taking out water. Now I wouldn't drink that water as such but it's probably a bit stagnant. But the fact that there's still water here after all those years is amazing. It, there must be some source. It could be the groundwater from here. But the fact is, I don't know on a real dry year how it is, but there is a well there. And there's the way into it. And there's a little top lip over it, all done up with stone, obviously from back a north long time. Now, folks, that's the well. Uh, we had a little... Now, just in case I left it out, this is St. Bridget's Well. This whole site is the re re historical and reputed birthplace of St. Bridget here in Fotherd in County Louth. And it's well worth a visit. It's a lovely dry place. This is the only place where you get any sense of dampness. And I just look at the roof of this and it, it goes away up. Yeah. 
it's a little kind of a, a beehive a little sort of a beehive thing and uh, they are built for the purposes of just having the sample water but it's wet today on the this is the 15th of july so now i'm going to come out you can pause again people leave. folks uh the video of uh Fahard in county loud the north county loud on the Cooley peninsula uh the reported birthplace of saint bridget and the church and all of that and it's well worth uh, a, a visit it's extremely dry. I get this sense of dryness here for some reason. I mean, you know the way you get this kind of... You nearly feel you could lie down and sleep there on the ground. Um, very, very beautiful. And uh, on a beautiful evening. So, folks, we let you go. Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I was over getting uh, some some uh, nuts and bolts for a, a, a repair I'm doing in Dundalk, and I called out. Bye!